hi welcome back to tutorial 3 so in tutorial 1 and 2 we discussed about our folder structure how, when we get the order how to arrange that and tutorial 2 we discussed about the gdnt and part design so in this is tutorial 3 and here we will discuss about the 3d cat feasibility in tutorial 2 we saw gdnt and we found that those gdnt tolerances and dimensions are all achievable in tutorial 3 we are going to see the simulation so what happens when we get the data we send that data to our supplier and ask them to do a simulation an incremental simulation in auto form they have auto form software and then they send it to us based upon the result we check that and we provide some inputs to them so this is the simulation here as you can see the simulation report for this part i'll show you the very first what we had so the very first report what we had uh, in auto form when they ran it they gave us these two files the afd file which is auto form file unfortunately we don't have auto form auto form is a very costly software and it's uh, not possible for us to buy not very uh, feasible solution so the supplier has sent the auto form file and also sent us the cae report which is in form of ppt okay now let me open this cae report so so the first page over here so this is actually a cr2 material so this first page has part number part name material information development level simulation version on which date it was done and who is our program manager and it has information on material card material thickness right and what was the fld for this so as you can see everything was one as green but this was not the case i'll show you in the next slide this slide is the material card so they have given us this material card and which we check the material card is selected based upon the information given by customer so it with the material provided by customer and equivalent material card we took from auto form default material library you can change the material library you can add your custom materials many times what happen mills to mills the uh, composition and the mechanical properties differ a little bit here little bit there so each mill when they make any steel they usually have their own material card and if you request them to provide you the material card for auto form they will send it to you also like for example this is a ford part so ford in usa they buy the material from their own steel mills and if the die has to run in usa they will buy the material from american or canadian steel mills these steel mills uh, they are like uh, you know when you have any material mechanical properties chemical property it will always be within a range so what we have seen whether it's thickness or the properties american steel mills will always make it uh, towards the maximum range for example a range is from 300 to 350 so they were their material will have 350 okay now this is the result of crash form so uh, as you can see the part is all good uh, it's important for you to understand what is this uh, what what are these color like red yellow green gray blue purple so red indicate split yellow indicates risk of split green indicate it's safe gray indicate insufficient stage blue indicate compression and purple indicates thickening right okay so as you can see over here the part when we did run it was almost okay everything right now the color which you see those uh, purple color over there those two holes are pilot holes so naturally we will have some thickening over there when it pulls it so material will get you know 
compressed over there and uh, like wherever we are having radius and all there we have a small thickening this is the develop develop trim line of the part right this is a progressive tool once again so we needed some pilot holes and this is the thinning distribution map which you see maximum thinning being shown as 10.7 percent right and uh, this is the uh, in millimeter also tonnage was roughly 74 ton and the second operation was flange up FLD map is good no problem as you can see over here here maximum thinning is being shown as 17.2 percent thickness distribution map and the force total was roughly 30 36 ton Uh, FLD map here we had a uh, risk of a split and a split as well so we will show where it is actually so what happens when we flange down there at two stages we have high thinning 21.1 over there right and we also have yeah we okay so these two area you can see uh, it was almost like close to close to split right and tonnage like this right you can see the original part data we had in this we had pro proposed like that original it was having huge split so in this one we in the current one we had done some changes but that was not accepted by customer okay we will show you some more iterations which we did so here we change the uh, directions in the first one we did trimming everything in the beginning here we are doing this trim the front area trim after the form so we did a crash form and we provided some material gainer you can see uh, the area where flange down happens we have provided some material gainer but still this is the result here right we have 27 percent across thinning and this way we have 85 tonnage it's more than 11 ton now we have a little bit after trimming we did the flange up we have little bit uh, fld switch there right so here also you can see when we do the flange down a lot of split you can see there it's a big split over there it's failing now we are going to the movie file to run the movie file so when we did the simulation we made simulation movie it will give you an idea how does it looks like so this is the blank and when we start the cast form you can see you can see how thickening spreads how thin how safe area spreads how compressed spread now we did the trim and you see in the next one so flange up you can see how how the compression will happen how the compression and thickening will happen right you can see there correct and the next next one is flange down so the flange when flange down will happen pay attention close attention to the center that particular center tab you will see how the green will give way to yellow and then red it means it's getting split over there see there right So, okay, 
now we go to the next iterations we had done multiple iterations and we will see this iteration this was very close to the one what we have today what we got approval from the customer okay so same material cr2 actually we change the material here from a21 we went for a11 and we gone for cr2 right it's uh, almost similar material now you can see here material card not very much different though and you can see whatever we have today it's very very close to that right so this is the proposal we had given that left red was the original cad and the green one is our proposal which is almost same what we have in the latest one we have little bit more changes okay in this area you see where we have maximum thinning 19.5 that is what we have changed the latest one right so this is the crash bomb fld we had risk of split so that also we controlled trimming after trimming then flange up fld and flange down as you can see here risk of split increased but we don't have any split for detail let's see there maximum thinning 23.1 percent right in that area so that's a minor risk of split and that's on upper boundary but uh, we had done some changes further on this okay and this is a spring back so this is a spring back simulation where we have like uh, maximum range of uh, the maximum spring back is 0.825 and minimum is 0.5 this is in open condition Okay, now we go to the next iteration. And these two iterations were some small request from the customer. They asked us to do some local changes and provide them the feedback. So again, you can see here. So with uh, CR2, this is CR2 material and we did some changes and we gave them, okay, maximum thinning is this much, right? And we go to the next uh, iterations. So this also, here we change material from CR2 to CR1, as you can see here, okay? From CR2 to CR1, this is what we changed, right? That is one thing we did. And the next, okay, we go to the next uh, step, okay. When we did that, this was perfect, as you can see here, right? So no problem. Maximum, it looks like 15.7 percentage watt, 18.7 uh, percentage watt is the maximum thinning, and there here, a small issue is there. So now we go to the latest, what is the most current one. So based upon all our proposal, which was not very different from the one which we had shown you some time back, this is what is the final proposal which we gave to them. Let me show it to you. So we not only do simulations, but we do multiple iterations and uh, we also modify the part data ourselves and we give it to the customer that, okay, we have modified this and based upon this, this is the final result. Let us know what you want, right? So the customer based upon our proposal, they have some internal testing and then they confirm, okay, this is what is okay. And they will stick to this proposal, right? So the final proposal will be like that. And uh, this is all recorded and we make the die strip layout based upon this. We make the die design based upon this. And when we do the try out when we make the part we will double check whether everything is okay or not so as you can see here let me make it bigger okay so we had finally we had requested okay we want to increase that area because you remember we had in this area we had thinning 20 percent 21.1 percent so we increased that we moved it two millimeter in this direction right and after that the result is 19 percent which is good okay and uh, we had either we had two either we do like this or we do like that okay so 
that's what we have and that's what was part of simulation in simulation 